The upcoming LEGO Star Wars 2023 Ghost and Phantom 2 set is going to become one of my favorite Star Wars sets of all time. I can just tell from looking at these pictures. I already pre-ordered the set the other day. I know I did it before the double VIP points or whatever the heck is going on right now, but I don't care. This set is phenomenal. It is truly one of the best sets that I think we've gotten in this entire decade, in all of the 2020s. Like, I know it's the decade still early, but oh my goodness. I really don't have many bad things to say about it. I think the only, I'll get this out of the way, the only con I can even think of of the set is that the Phantom 2 looks a little bit goofy on the back of the ghost like that. However, that is a very, very fixable problem because you can just display them right next to each other. And, I mean, the profile of the ghost is just gorgeous. I really, I don't have anything bad to say about this set. I mean, th this is going to be a boring video for those of you who want negativity all the time here in this community, but my goodness, my goodness, this is just, it's so good. It's so good. Everything about this is good. The interior is spacious, and the fact that all the little sections come off to have a very spacious and playable interior, even though it is just that center strip, that's still very nice, and I think you could be able to modify this set too to get more out of it if you want, to get more play, because these little panels just don't cover much, so you could probably add more rooms in there if you wanted to, but I, I'm just gonna ramble. I, I really don't have any, like, cohesive thoughts about this, just overwhelmingly positive, overwhelmingly positive. Now, obviously, let's take a look at the Phantom 2. It is a little bit small and uh, underscaled because obviously the ghost is very, very, very downscaled. If you want to make a minifig scale ghost, it's got to be like double the size of the UCS Falcon. That's <laughs> obviously not feasible for a system scale set. But this Phantom 2, I mean, the build techniques that they use to get the shaping down is incredible for a, a, for a ship in this scale. Obviously, this is not to minifig scale, and the other Phantom is a much better to minifig scale than this one, the one from 2017 or 18, whenever that set came out. But, I mean, this is so good. It, it, the, the, the shaping, the way they built the wings, all those snot techniques of various uh, pieces facing different directions, it's just so good. I don't, I, I'm gonna say it's so good over and over again in this little analysis video. Uh, the back of it, look at, look at the little door back there. This little door back there, even though it's a little, like, gonk droid crate type thing. That's just a cute way to achieve that shaping. Now, I mean, look at the, the minifigures. The minifigures are excellent. It's not exactly, like, selling the set for me. The, the build itself is what I'm really buying the set for. But the Hera minifigure leaked a couple weeks ago. That's perfect. Uh, the new chopper, it's different than the Rebels chopper. Um, I'm gonna take some getting used to. It's gonna take getting used to for me for this one, just because I'm so used to his Rebels design. Uh, Jason Syndulla, very, very good. And these two other dudes, um, I forget their names right off the top of my head, but the new Republic pilot body, that's gonna be incredibly useful on a, for so many different customs, like a custom Zeb from Mando. And uh, even this other lieutenant's got some very good designs on him. And seriously, I just don't have enough good things to say about this set. It's it's incredible. The, like literally the only bad thing I can think of is that the Phantom 2 looks a little bit goofy on the back, but I'm very curious to see what that'll look like in person. The exterior of the Ghost, it just has so many great details and so many great techniques used. It's just such a massive, massive upgrade from the one that we got, uh, what was that? 2014? Yeah, that was 2014. So that was nine years ago that we last got a ghost. And that set looked good before I saw this one. I mean, and also with this set too, I was afraid that in the Ahsoka show, the ghost would have a new paint job because, yeah, and you know, ships, you know, ships change over the course of the years. But no, this is the ghost. And I am a big fan of Star Wars Rebels. This is going to go in a very prominent place in my collection. And seriously, I think it's going to crack the top 10 of, of my top 10 LEGO Star Wars sets of all time. And that's really all I got to say about this thing. 160, I don't care. Like, they could have charged 200 for this. It would have been fine. But I think 160 is honestly the sweet spot. 1,300 pieces, the size of this build. It's, it, it's substantial, and I already paid it. I mean, I pre-ordered it. I don't care. It's coming on September 1st, whenever it decides to get here. I will patiently wait on my front stoop for the next month and a half until the ghost comes in the mail. And that's all I got to say about this set. I will obviously be doing a review of this, and you can expect it to be overwhelmingly positive when I have the set in my hands. So thank you guys very much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. I love this set so much. This has been Brian from Watermelon Studios. Peace out, guys.